everyone, this is Espasmato, and today I am going to be showing you how to use the Arma 3 editor. So, let me just clear this out right quick. It is clear. Alright. So, today, today what we're going to be going over is these two buttons up here, the units and the groups. This is going to be a little quick tutorial, just showing how to place units, so here we go. So just double click, whatever side you want, blue for, off or independent, I'm going to be blue for. Faction just leave at blue class. I'm gonna be just in the man. That's all the people. Just diver, recon, sniper, story, support. Uh, I'm just gonna be a rifleman. Special doesn't really matter. Uh, player. You have to have at least one. You can only have one player unit on there. If you don't have one, you can't test out your mission because the player unit is who you'll be when you hit the preview button, which doesn't show up because I don't have a player. So you hit that uh, rank. That's just like. Um, if you have multiple units and they're linked together, that's who's in charge. The higher rank will be in charge. So I'm assuming it's up a colonel. Info age, I honestly have no idea what that does right now. If I figure it out, I'll show you. Azimuth, that just changes which way you're facing. You can face that way. Uh, name, you can name it like ply one. That's like if you want to use it in the script or something, you know. Uh, just hit okay. You have a player, preview button shows up. And also, if you do not have a player, you notice preview button's gone. Also, you cannot place empty, empty units. And you'll see now you can place the empty. Empty is like vehicles, empty vehicles that you can fly and drive. And yeah, so if you want an empty vehicle, obviously there's air, there's armor, and there's armored, uh, there's cars, there's some ships down here. And here's the submarine that was just added in the beta. So you can name the vehicle, I'm just going to give myself a, I don't know, not about a helicopter. Let's do that one. You can name it again, you know, Hilo 1, that's if you want to use it for something. I'll show you initialization stuff later. I'll show you this stuff later. It's a little bit more in-depth, but not too bad. And so now if you played it right now, you could fly that helicopter, but there's obviously nothing to kill. Um, I mean, if you want to want some stuff to kill, uh, best way to do it is with the group button, because if you use this one, you get to place every single unit one at a time. You can do it if you can more customization, but I mean, you can go here, op for is the enemy, so we put some op for, uh, class, there's like special, which is divers, support, I haven't really used support, um, motorized infantry, they'll have a vehicle, they'll drive around, also will be two, like two or three players, so I'm just going to put in a rifle squad, and that should have a bunch of people. Right, you'll see right here, there's a bunch of people, so if you want to change around a whole group of people, you go to the single unit, click and drag, select them all, and you can shift click and that'll spin them around so you can face them like that. If you want to delete a single unit, hit just, um, just uh, hover over them, hit the delete button on your keyboard to go away. If you want to delete the whole group, just select them all and hit shift delete and they'll all go away. And so you'll see that. Um, that's pretty much all there is to show you about basic units. And yeah, next time I'll show you some waypoints and triggers. So yeah, keep looking out for that. Make sure you hit subscribe. And I'll see you around. I'm gonna test out my mission right quick. There's my helicopter. I can't even see the units because they're really far away. Alright, so I'll see you guys in my next tutorial over triggers and waypoints.